Wow. Yeah, that's right. Welcome back. It's TARS. Um, we are literally cranking out so many resources, it's not even funny, and it's not going to get much better once we start getting the, the Dyson Sphere online. Let's put it that way. You do not have a solar panel network or umbilical cords. That is not acceptable. Nor battle simulators for some bizarre reason. Oh, that's right, because it died like 15 times. More cruisers. Cruisers good. Cruisers good. Oh, that's destroyers. Oh, yo ho, brah. Alert. Should turn that off some point. It's gonna take 53 years in total to get the um, the new ring world online over here. Uh, it's currently 1,700 days away from being finished. Uh, I'm just waiting for the next wave of uh, of enemies to pop in, so we can take down uh, the next contingency fleet. It's got a lot of dropships here, but overall, like. I'm, I'm looking, I feel this is pr a pretty solid thing that we're doing right now. Uh, it's pounding... Construction yeah, you can have, complete. you can have vision on my worlds, that's fine. Our regulators, mound up. Ooh, there it is. System survey complete. Exploration firmware 2.0. And now we get, uh, plus one research. Speed, even. So now we get to pick one. Synthetic age, which increases our modification points, which we don't really need. Technological ascendancy, maybe interesting. Galactic contender. Um, galactic contender is one that I am very interested in. Galactic force projection, 200 naval capacity. Um, Endgame crisis we can deal with, that's not a problem. Galactic Contender, however, is one that is going to be a problem in the long term. So right now it's either Force Projection or Galactic Contender. Considering these guys are a problem with their 500,000 fleet power. And we want to take Aerobot, who are similar in scope. We want to be a Galactic Contender. I know that a lot of people are like, oh my god, he did not take... Complete. He did not take the fleet power per thing. 200 fleet power at this point is like god tier. I agree it is god tier at this point. However, uh, being able to effective... It's going to take some time for us to get into a place where we can get that final slot. And if the Fallen Empire decides to declare war on us once contingency is no longer a problem, which it, will, which it won't be in a very, very near future... Uh, I'd rather be able to take down the uh, enemy ships a little bit more effectively. And that includes Irabot, because Irabot is going to give us, I think, like 75 fleet power in total. And once all of our ring worlds are online, we're kind of in the same boat there. There is that uh, Frontier Outpost I was talking about System earlier. Survey complete. And now we're back to plus three influence. I'm not entirely sure how the hell that happened. System survey complete. But still, like, fallen empires that we can control them or at least gate them a little bit is really important right now. Like, I'm not worried about contingency in any way, shape, or form right now. At least not within the, my own territory, at least. And I don't think I've got access to this space to begin with. Let's take a look. Uh, actually, I, surface they have not done anything there. System survey complete. What do we need? Lab complexes, maybe. Uplink node, absolutely. Uh, minerals, we got enough of. Science, maybe, for those bonuses. Could be not solar power. I've been building solar power stuff. Let's just build labs. What's remaining? Just labs. And this one can be a Astro mining. So that's a plus nine. So let's build some. That's that's the wrong one. Why do you do this, A spec? You absolute numpty. I refuse. No, I don't want to. Uh, habitats. So you building this one. Cancel this one. Build a pop. Build a leader. Good. 
energy. One, two, three, four, five. That's the wrong one. So cancel that one. Build a pop. That's the research variant that I wanted. Build pop. Build multiple research. There we go. The UI, uh, either, you know, the problems between keyboard and, and chair or the UI is a little bit. I think it's a combination of both, really. But that's just the way uh, Cloud Switch Engine games play, I'm afraid. Man, this leader is so good. Trickster, aggressive, gale speed. My god, it's so good. Combat speed, fire rate. It's like one of the best admirals I've ever had. Construction complete. And even even now that we're so far over our fleet cap, we're still cranking out ships like mad. Absolute mad. Into our doom stack. Alright. Just waiting for the next wave. There is the next autonomous cluster. Construction complete. There they go. They're going to Cooper as expected. So our ships still jump in right in the Cooper. Our ships will destroy them. And then we can work on to the next stage. Why are you not merging? Because of the fleet cap? Could be. Yeah, I think the, yeah, this fleet is at its max, so that is a shame. But they're going to jump in here shortly anyway, and then we're going to send out the smaller fleet to take care of all this stuff. Because all of our crews... There we go. Instantly they get 25 million. Yeah, small fleets being destroyed to singular cruisers. But it's just additional firepower that's being pushed onto the enemy. Look at all these corvettes that are just racing out there. And they're just trying to reposition themselves. That's a lot of battleships that we destroyed just very quickly here. 14 cruisers down. Nah, that's within the realm of acceptability. Alright, so with that out of the way, what is the good what's a good point of entry here? So let's move you over here. It's only one jump out. We'll do the same thing with you guys. Uh, System survey. Why complete. are you rallying with that fleet? That's not a fleet you should be rallying with. You should be rallying with this fleet. Construction complete. Instead. Construction complete. Not that it really matters all that much, but... Yeah, they're all merging with the sterilization unit. Okay. System survey complete. And basically, we're just... Jumping the world's biggest mousetrap on top of the contingency right now. And once again, we're going to lose a significant amount of fleet power here. I'm not too worried about it. There is the fleet. There they go. Now we're just waiting for complete. perfect moments Construction to complete. engage the enemy. Construction complete. Construction complete. <sighs> oh, there's a single cruiser. Hostile fleet assets engage. Mm, that could have gone a lot better. Alert fleet unit offline. Let's Alert keep these guys offline. off the field for now. Alert fleet unit offline. Okay, they've engaged. Okay. This is slightly less effective than it should be. A lot of our cruisers are being hit really heavily immediately. Still 300,000 fleet power. A lot of our corvettes being rammed in submission. That's a shame because it's a lot of our anti-shield fire power right there. But they are losing a lot of their stuff already. So, Okay, there is the army fleet for some reason that it's decided to join in yeah this should not take very long 
as soon as their destroyers off are off the field, we should be able to close the gap, so to speak. And like I always said before, like two hundred thousand fleet power is kind of where I draw the line. Yeah, the euthanizers are being annihilated. Where are you guys going? Going after? Oh no. I'm gonna jump you guys out. Construction complete. And now the other empires should move in their stuff as well. Let's just jump you guys out. Nine ships lost. So now the uh, fallen empire should jump in to try to take the planet down, which is fine. Some small stuff here. Let's retreat all you guys. System survey complete. We don't need you guys on the field. What were our losses like? 22 Corvettes. 81 cruisers. Wow. That is a lot of dead ships. Still. Not the end of the world. Construction complete. Okay, so that's just the 14th Armada. And there is the core. So they're just... All the, all the neutral empires are now throwing all their ships into the fray. Trying to take down the uh, machine world. Which is fine. Because they can do all the, the hard work. Well, we just sit on our ass and watch them do it. They have jumped in there. I'm not entirely sure why this is a good idea. The transport fleet. Ah, there is the, the Bernathi Zealots. I was wondering where they would come. And there is the regulators. And there's the Erebots, so Let's jump in. Let's be the other... Awaken Empire on the field. 129 fleet System power is complete. not a lot for them. And overall, though, you know, it's didn't lose that much fleet power. Complete. Nine point three. Damn. Construction complete. Yeah, contingency is going to lose a lot of their stuff now. This is going to be their second world they're going to lose. And there's the Fallen Empire fleet as well. Still not entirely sure what's going on with the net code here. Uh, the game code here regarding all these uh, scepters. But this is why... This one right here is why the Swiss Army Knife setup works so well. Because they will just crank out ships like that like crazy. You just want to have a lot of that additional firepower on your ships. There are my cruisers. 388 cruisers coming up on what's the field. Like, they've got one Titan and 20 battle cruisers, sure, but... Damn, that's a lot of fleet power in one system. That's a million fleet power on the screen right there. <laughs> And finally, my machine is just like, Ugh, I can barely contain the CPU cycles. Ugh. Well, yeah. It doesn't matter all that much. Right, we're going to bomb the planet soon anyway. Titan. Oh, Titan. I love you. Why are you so pretty? All right, another contingency core uh, has been taken care of. Let's bomb the planet. Be done with it. We lost zero in that. As predicted. Killed all the transport ships. It's a lot of dead transport ships, by the way. All right, let's get all of this stuff into one big old fleet. Meanwhile, the aerobot is like, yo, what's up? Bye! Yeah, we're gonna ignore the fact that we need to bomb this planet completely still, but whatever. Meanwhile, uh, Bernathi Zealot's like, yo, what up? 
You like my '94 uh, battle cruisers and one Titan and like 170. What what are these even? Zealot class doesn't even tell me anything. Battle cruiser. They're just escorts. All right, they got escorts and battle cruisers rather than destroyers and normal cruisers because apparently they're too good for us. Whatever, man. Yeah, we got 60,000 fleet power to rebuild anyway. Meanwhile, this, uh, this sterilization hub is being rammed to the gr into the ground. And this is actually kind of good because it means that the other autonomous clusters are just moving about. And uh, it, once we take the aerobot off of the scene, it means that the contingency will have a little bit more breathing space, so to speak. What I'm really interested in is them taking this world over here. Are they bombing it? Please tell me they're bombing it. I don't see them bombing it. Well, they're being purged. Oh, they're already taking the world. That's fine by me. That is good. Construction. How long? I think it's just just over five months. Technological acquisition success. Like I'm. Ah, oh, yes, there's the core sector systems. I needed those. The reason why I need those, by the way, is so I can have a more practical grip on the ring worlds because I want to directly control them rather than the usual garbage that I would have okay this is gonna be another sterilization hub oh look hideous has decided to show up what a delight like we lost 33 corvettes there which is fine the Bernathi zealots like, we do a 33% additional damage to Fallen Empires. And even right now, I don't think we'd be able to handle them. Irabata are a whole different question. But Irabata are next, anyway. What's our damage here? It's 99.7. Good, more cruisers coming in. It's funny, considering we're not n even near our fleet cap right now. We're still getting a thousand m uh, energy a month whilst undocked. I don't even want to know how expensive it is to keep these guys in the orbit. What's our mineral output here? 37, okay. Let's take a look at the platform. Where are you? I'm gonna build another ring world over here, by the way, FYI. Just over three, just under three years. Really? <laughs> I hope that stays. It probably won't, because it's gonna consume all the planets in the system, but... It's the, it's a thought that counts, right? Alright, Sterilization Hub 002 is gonna be offline very soon. System survey complete. Ah. <sighs> I'm actually really happy about the fact that all these fallen empires have jumped in to steal all my glory. Thanks, guys. Who was the only one that was there to take out the fleets, and he was just dicking around? I'll give you a hint. It wasn't you. Man, we got so much science. Uh, still got curator insight, though, so... And that's gonna be... This one's a size 20, so this... The other one was, I think, was probably like a... Like a gas giant? Machine World Destroyed. Sterilization Hub 002. The Machine World and the Void Drop System has been destroyed. After being subject, subjected to heavy orbital bombardment, the planet's AI core self-destructed to prevent capturing... Capture by trigger uh, by triggering a massive antimatter device hidden deep inside the deep, bleh, deep underground. With the destruction of this planet, the ghost signal has lost an important relay station and strength has been waned. In addition, we get living metal. How very nice. Let's start uh, mining. Wow, that's nine energy next door. Did not know that. All right, cool. Time to take Aerobot. 
Construction complete. All right, let's uh, move the fleets. There is a single Erebot station in here. All right, the problem with the Erebot is their gigantic setup in terms of... Right, okay. Let's move the fleet to safe. Construction uh, complete. Some battle sims on here. Okay, that's fine. System survey complete. Okay, we're over our fleet cap again. As it should be! All is well! What's this? Uh, I would rather discuss interstellar politics with any other household appliances than you. If only I wasn't just moving a gigantic fleet in towards your general direction. Oh my god, you're pathetic. What a sad time. Yeah, we're gonna take all of this. Now that the contingency is no longer a problem within my territory, it means that I can do something a little bit more interesting. Oh, it's the Bernathi Zealots. Great. Well, these pops are being purged very quickly now, so that's good for us. How, oh, the contingency is growing over here as well, so that's good. System as long as they don't complete. dip into our territory, I'm fine with that. Where are you going? What's this? How, how are you still alive? Uh, why are you transmitting the ghost signal? We, we have locked into a low energy hibernation vigil sentry protocol. Since the dawn of this galaxy. Monitoring for sign of civilization approaching class 30 singularity thresholds. So, synthetic stop an opportunity, compelled, coerced, persuaded, initiate manual activation. Clever, yes, we are now free to annul your existence. Oh no. Construction mm -hmm. complete. Got created by aliens a long time ago. Those aliens, successful. man. You, you can't really do anything around them. Ooh, energy credits, how long? 85 months is actually not that far. And four month, in four months we'll have living metal as well, which is also very nice. Uh, how much are we getting from... It'd be nice on this list to see how much we're getting from um, assisting research. 40k minerals. Alright, how is the ring world coming along? In just over two years. Mm hmm all this stuff is being built. God damn it, I want Prim back. I will get Prim back, don't you worry about that. Okay, what do we got here? Where is there? Where is the Aerobot fleet anyway? So the autonomous cluster over there. Is the Aerobot over here right now? System survey complete. Could be. Oh yeah, there's the Aerobot fleet. Acquisition successful. They're just hanging out. Oh, this, this planet got completely purged. What a delight. Construction complete. Ah, reveals material. Good. We now have access to living metal. We got one of them. Which is gonna give our stuff a plus 30% building speed on megastructures. Wow. And plus two uh, regeneration. That by itself, let me quickly have a look see. Should increase the build speed here, and it does. Excellent. Well, they're not entirely sure if it's going to be delayed by day. Apparently, that's a shame. Not well. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're getting so many resources. It's a shame that we can't build multiple mega structures at once because we have the resources for it. And uh, like I said, we are completely outgrowing pretty much. Is that a 40k? No, okay. They tried at least. Construction complete. Yeah, almost everybody in. Okay, there is. They're gonna try to take the system. That's fine. And then there's the. Is some Bernathi Zealots over here? Or how big is the fleet in here? Oh god. My PC is like... Ugh! Ugh! I can barely... I can barely sustain myself. Well, that's fine. Yeah, the Bernathi Zealots are definitely the biggest bad boys on the block right now. And also a huge problem. The other guys, I am not System too worried about. Complete. Like the... The regulators and all that stuff, they're not really causing too many problems. 
He's waiting for the era. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, the Aerobot have managed to take this planet. No, wait, no. Did they purge it completely? It looks like they purged it completely. Let's take a look. Uh, well, they're bombing it from orbit, to say the least. Yeah, these robots. Is this... Is this... This is Bernathy Zealots, isn't it? And they're going to be able to take this planet. Because they're putting battle frames on there. And we're maxed out again. Hmm. What is this green shit? It's the Wani. It's only... F nah, that can't be it. What is my largest population? Is it a Targa? It is a Targa. Uh, for some reason... System survey complete. Ooh, we found a... Uh, how the hell did we find a primitive civilization? Why are complete. you all the way over here? And not... Here, go and assist research. System survey complete. There we go. Assistant research, nicely. Um, yeah, in terms of energy, what I could spend it on, I guess... I could start doing some more stuff with Machine Worlds. Uh, what, what kind of options do I have? Like Trap, maybe. I'm going to terraform that into Machine Worlds. Xan is already done. There's a bunch of Xenos. Bunch of Xenos. Some more Xenos. Boxo, size 16. Could turn that into Machine Worlds. Let's do that. So that's taken care of. Yeah, we uh, right now we've got only one big stumbling block remaining. Oh, there's another autonomous cluster over here. This is bombing planets. Oh, hello. What's this? That's uh, Sakit Regulators. System Mound up. Survey complete. Fleet? Where's the Aerobot? Aerobot has still not moved their fleet back. Still got to, you know, rebuild those 120 cruisers that we that we lost earlier. Kind of want to keep around 20k. Construction so complete. So we can be a little bit more cost effective when building this, uh, this ring world, which is going to be done in a year. But that's going to wrap up for this episode. Next time we're going to go and invade Irobot territory, or at least my future territory, and take the ring worlds therein. And basically uh, get a little bit better control of the situation. We'll have... Th two ring world clusters, one in the core and one down in here once we've rebuilt all this stuff. But overall, I think we should be pretty good. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, System take care complete. of yourselves and, as always, complete. each other.